Hello, it's Saturday and we are at McDonald's. Liam, what have you got for lunch? Uh, what have you got? Have you got chicken nuggets? Oh, should we see what's in your happy meal bag? Let's see. He has got... <laughs> you've got you've got Mr. Striker, a football Mr. Potato Head. Ugly. <laughs> Erin, what have you got? Um, a Big Mac. A Big Mac. I made a total boo boo and um, ordered no onions and no mustard. But there's no mustard. There's onions. There's no onions in there. There is no onions. onions. Oh, but he got it all wrong then. So I said no. No gherkins, no, wasn't it? Onions, yeah. That's it. No gherkins and no mustard. Well, there's no mustard in a Big Mac anyway, so he just didn't give us any Big Mac sauce. So Erin's probably got the driest Big Mac meal in the world. <laughs> Bless her. Um, I feel very good. I've brought my own salad because I'm trying to be good before I go crazy at Christmas. So I'm yes. The new stinky. What's going to be stinky? The my chicken. chicken. <laughs> Mummy, his arms move. His arms move? Cool. So yes, we'll eat this and then um, we're going to go home and do um, Christmas list. So we'll see you in a bit. Bye! So, hi, we're just back from McDonald's. Hello. And I, and I just want to talk about dinosaurs. Very interesting. And, um, yeah, but... Okay. What are we going to talk about in dinosaurs? What are you going to say? I want to talk about... Tell everybody. T-Rexes and Triceratopsis. Very good. So, Triceratopsis as well as the three horns. And then T-Rexes. And T-Rexes, um, teeth are on the size of bananas. No way. And, and what's your favourite dinosaur? A brachiosaurus. Oh. And, um, you see this pillow? Um, but, and giraffes have very long necks, like brachiosauruses. This is true. <laughs> Any other fun facts <laughs> about dinosaurs? Yeah. Oh, there's the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Marley making an appearance on our weekly yes. vlog. <laughs> I think he wants to go in. <laughs> and so, um, 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 I know you don't know this dinosaur, but um, pterodactyls are actually small, not big. They're big. <laughs> we'll agree to disagree, shall and we? The um, there's a di there's um a prehistoric dinosaur mm. with what's a uh, flying reptile, Ooh. and his name's called the Quetzalcoatlus. Wow! He's the biggest. Is it? And and his wings are longer than a school bus. Wow! You are. A Fact file like a mini paleontologist. <laughs> so a Santa letter writing and um, we're going to use these kits that I got. They're only a pound from B&M and you get... <clears throat> Hold on. Oh. Bear with, bear with. Well, <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> Let me get that one's going to be mine. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Oh, here we go. Thanks. Oh, and then I think we're all right. Okay, so what do we get in our when letter to Santa it? bumper pack that we got for the grand price of a pound? So we get our letter, dear Santa. I wish it was Father Christmas. I have to say, but there we go. I guess can't be choosers. You get a festive pencil. A Ho ho ho. And a pencil. We get a Santa stock here. Um, and I promise I have kept my room nice and tidy, been very good this year, been very helpful and kind, and I will be fast asleep. So we could put that up on Christmas Eve. And there's a pencil sharpener. The pencil sharpener didn't come with it, did it? Well, that's mine. And then we've got some thank you letters, that's which the children mine. can write um, when they send their thank yous, because obviously we probably won't see that many people over Christmas this year, so 
Um, yeah, that'd be cool. And, and Thanks stickers. to Corona, Corona. And stickers. As, and some stickers. So they can choose whether to put those on their letter to Father Christmas or whether they're going to put them on their um, thank you letters. So they've got one each. Here we go. Can you just put it down now? So lists are done. <laughs> Liam, what is on your list? Are you going to show so everybody? I got a toy. I a toy dinosaur at Jurassic Island and and dinosaur thing and the toy night theory. Yes, that's what you've asked for, isn't yes. it? And you're left-handed, aren't you? Yes. You don't write with your this hand, do you? No, because you were a little baby, weren't you? So you're one of the one in five preemies. Well, you're five times more likely as a premature baby to be left-handed. So Liam is a lefty. Erin is not. She's a righty tighty. What? What's on your list? What have you whittled it down to, Erin Nicole? Um, a Polaroid camera, an oversized jumper, and slash hoodie. hoodie, and then LED strips. LED strip light, she generally has not stopped talking about these. I don't know for how long. So she might get some of that for her birthday. She might not. She might get some for Christmas. If she's naughty, she might not get any of it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so that's Santa List done. See you in a bit. And you've done a little bit of Christmas shopping this week. Um, so we thought we'd do like a mini haul of what I've got this week. And Erin is going to kindly assist me in this one and what she thinks. So um, a few different shops. Um, and different places so we'll get right straight into it so I went to Primark this week um, because in I will just say in Wales we are allowed to we're not in lockdown um, so as long as you're wearing a mask and you social distance and you stay two meters away then it's fine we can do that so first few bits that we've got the kids have their own Christmas trees in their bedrooms <laughs> this Liam's just popped up um, and um, so they have their own decorations in their bedrooms. Um, we've become slightly Disney obsessed in this house because we are going to Florida in August next year. So I got them one of these each. So they're um, sort of mini Mickey Mouse baubles. They were four pounds each and you get six. So I thought they were quite cute for their trees. I did get a few other bits as well, the Christmas and birthday related that obviously I can't show because um, I'm right here. they're right here and they will watch the vlog back as well. Um, so the other thing that I can show that I picked up from Primark as well is um, these really nice red slippers. They're really Christmassy, they've got like a pom-pom on them. They're um, they are a bit tinkerbell esque aren't they? Um, and they were £6. Um, yeah, £6. So I thought they were a good bargain. Yeah. Next shop I went in there was Boots, and um, they've got really good three for two offers. Um, so I did again pick up a few bits and bobs, but obviously can't show all of them. So um, I got two things from their new Wizard of Oz range, both from number seven. So the first one I was really excited about because I'd seen it online. It was ten pounds, <laughs> and um, it was two um, nail varnishes. Normally I used to well pre-lockdown pre-march lockdown i used to get my nails done full like acrylics and stuff now i don't they look all right i think so i thought well, i'll buy some festive nail varnish um a really nice green and a gold except they're tiny for 10 pounds they're so tiny so um they'll be going back it's a um, ripoff <laughs> they are a ripoff aren't they right ripoff so yeah so they were 10 pounds for that and the little gold bag that was too expensive for me so they'll be going back the other thing I got then, as I say, from number seven, was a really nice um, sort of emerald green eyeshadow palette. And if I just open it up and show everybody, it's got some really nice colours. I have got green eyes, so anything sort of greeny, purpley and stuff, it seems to suit me. Sorry, Erin, I'm blocking your face out. Um, so yeah, so that, that was really cute. It was a bit more expensive. That was £18. Um, but as I say, I did get it so in the there. Top is really nice in the three for two, so that wasn't too bad. So yeah, so that was Boots and that was their Wizard of Oz range. So um, next is Katie Loxton. I've got quite a few of her bits, um, sort of purses and things like that. She has got a sale on at the minute, but she also had a discount code. And I can't remember for the life of me what the discount code is. If I can remember it, I will put it in the comments below. Um, so I got- the description below. Yeah, whatever whatever they say it's down the below box. the description that's the one um so i got two little notepads and i think they were like three quid something like that they are quite small but i thought for like putting in a bag um and things they were just kind of handy to have 
Um, I also then got, um, I do like a good candle. It's a bit like a seance here at times. I then got, um, it's the most wonderful time of the year candle. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then it comes, it's, it's kind of dinky, but mm, it smells oh, delicious. Oh, that is really nice. It's kind of like vanilla-y, vanilla-y like isn't it? Anyway. Yeah. And get a few other bits from Katie Loxton, but their presents for Christmas, I can't show. <laughs> um, next, we um, went to Asda, got a couple of Christmassy sort of tops. Um, so this is one for Erin. It's oversized, everything has to be oversized. Um, it's Friends, and then it's got all the cast's names, and that was eight pounds. So I thought that was pretty nice for Christmas, because if you're at home but you want something festive, you don't always want a jumper, I think. And um, I then got this jumper, which I think is quite nice. It's just plain red. It's got like a sort of puffed sleeve. Um, again, I've got it quite oversized because that's how I like to wear things. Um, and this was £14. And I thought that was quite nice just to throw on um, sort of out and about. But again, quite festive. So, um, got that. Um, online shopping then. I think that's all the bits that I've done in actual shops. Um, online then, again, Erin needed, both the kids needed new um, Christmas jumpers, Christmas tops and things like that. So um, as a jumper, Erin has got this Friends one. You'll see there is a theme, everything's oversized and everything's Friends. <laughs> um, so she got this one. It's from Studio Online. Again, it's oversized. And I think it was £14, so not too bad at all for that one. And then Little Man, he's got a few bits from Next because I find for him that Next fits him really well. Um, a lot of other places, because he's quite slight and quite small, um, so he has got a few different bobble hats and different hats, but they've got tend to have stuff all over them, like dinosaurs or logos. So he's just got this one that's just a plain navy with a big pom-pom, and that was £7. So do you want to model it on the mm. camera? Come here then. Here he is. <laughs> So that's his pom-pom hat, that was seven pounds, and I got that in a five to six. Then he's got two Christmas tops as well. Again, he grew out of all of his last year ones. So first one is this Father Christmas hoodie, if you can see. Um, and then it's got the little, the little hood there. And that, again, I got in a five to six, and that was 10 pounds from Next. And then the last thing I got, which I super love, which is probably for like, if we go to see Father Christmas, if hopefully that happens, um, and Christmas Day and things like that, is he's got this really cute shirt in sort of like a tartan, but I don't know if you can see, it's got like Christmas trees and Father Christmases um, and reindeers on it, and it is super soft. Do you wanna feel? Super soft. Yeah. So again, I got that in a five to six, and that was 14 pounds. It's fine. Um, so yes, yeah, so I think for Christmas Day and things, that'll be super smart. <clears throat> um, what other, what else did I get? I've got, um, Kath Kidson have got a really good sale on at the minute, so I got a bit from there. Um, and then finally, um, I, I found, could you just pass me that box please, Erin? Um, it's okay, Erin will do it because it's quite heavy, Liam. Oh, it's fine, Liam. So I order um, every year from an Italian hamper company, um, especially for my dad, because I don't know anybody else's dad, but I don't know what I'm gonna buy him. And I found this Italian ham hamper company, well they're a farm in Italy, um, and they produce really nice um, Christmas gifts, and it's called, let me find it. I think it's Fattoria, yeah, Fattoria La Viella. I apologize to anybody <laughs> who is Italian for that hideous pronunciation but they come in these they come basically like this in a brown cardboard box but then inside they're really festively wrapped and really nicely wrapped um and you can just send them direct to whoever the person is so this year if you're not going to be able to see anybody and you'd like to send them something like this again i will pop um the link to the website down below um i've ordered from them for probably about seven years now and, and i've never had any complaints from my dad i've had some some of my other friends have had them um yeah so definitely if you're looking if you know somebody who really likes italian food definitely um order from them um and yeah i think that was 
that's all our festive shopping that I can show. There is more, there are more packages from different shops, but obviously having children here and children that watch the vlogs, no can do. So we will catch up with you in a bit. Welcome back to our weekend vlog. So um, we have sorted out Liam's bedroom. I will insert a before and an after picture. So we've made space for some extra Christmas toys. We have decided that we are going to make um, Christmas decorations this afternoon. If Liam would stop howling, that would be good. Um, yeah, so what we have is from Hobbycraft, as I said, it was all from Hobbycraft. So we've got these fillable baubles, the clear ones. So we've, they've got a pack each of those, we've got four each. Then we've got some snow. Oh, it's going to wind up everywhere. And then we've got, they've each got some little Christmas trees. Oh, the daisy. Went everywhere. And then they've each got four little things to put in. Do you want to show your four things? So what have you got? I got a fox. Well, they can't see it because you're not showing it. There's the fox. And then, um, what's it? Turn it that way, maybe. There's the little fox. And then what is Erin? She's, Erin's laid it out very nicely. What have you got, Erin? Um, a Christmas cat. Um, Santa on a sleigh, like no, a Christmas that, teddy. No, that's not a sleigh, that's a thingy. ski. And then like a van with a Christmas Oh, that's a van. ski. So, yeah, so let's see how it goes and we will report back shortly with our, um, hopefully Christmas baubles. See you in a bit. That's right, isn't it? I didn't say the other word. Um, so yeah, so we've got our decorations are done. This is Liam's pile, this is Erin's pile. Uh, so, so we've got a little, go on, you describe it then. Like a teddy bear in like the snow with a Christmas mm -hmm. tree. And then Santa with snow. And On his sleigh. Yeah. Cute. Um, like a Christmas sort of car, isn't it? With their yeah, tree, tree coming back from going to shopping to get their tree. And then, and then the Christmas cat. And who doesn't need... A Christmas cat. And it even has red glitter in it. It does. Beautiful. And then these are Liam's. Liam, do you want to show yours? Sorry about the dodgy filming. So what have we got? We've got a Christmas fox, fox haven't we, in the forest. And then you've also got a Christmas car, haven't you, with your tree. Yeah. And then what else have you got, dude? I've got this. What is Santa's crashing? Santa's crashing? Yeah, <laughs> into the tree. Through the snow? Yeah. Cool. And then what's your other one? And then this is dead. He's got the teddy, isn't he? But I, this teddy seems to be a bit drunk. He keeps falling over. He's had too much Christmas sherry, doesn't he? <laughs> so they are ready to go on the kids' trees for when we put the decorations up next weekend. Um, so yes, they're ready to go. So we are now probably going to watch a Christmas movie. We're going to make some cookies. And when I say make cookies, it's very, very lazy. It's a pre-done um, kit. We've opened it already. It just comes like this. Little cookies. They are double chocolate. They're actually vegan. Um, and gluten-free. I don't know if you can see. No, not that any of us are vegan or no. gluten free, are we? Um, so yes, they're gonna have nice warm cookies. We're gonna watch a Christmas movie. And um, yeah, chill out and we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Weekend, and not weekend, vlogging in general. I completely forgot to finish the weekend vlog on Sunday. So it is Monday morning. Happy Monday. Um, if you have enjoyed our weekly vlog, um, please do uh, subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Um, and also thank you so much for watching and um, you know, really appreciate it. Um, also give us a quick follow on Instagram um, and we hope you have a really great week and we will see you all next weekend. Take care, stay safe, bye.